orthogonality of sine and cosine functions. In this section, we are going to learn a new concept called orthogonality of sine and cosine functions. This concept is needed for the development of the Fourier series. Consider some sine functions sin x, 2 sin x, 3 sin x and 4 sin x. Here, their amplitude varies from 1 to 4, but the frequency remains the same. If we add them, we get another sine function whose frequency remains same but amplitude changes. So, adding up the same frequency sine wave generates a function similar to the sine function. But in Fourier series, our aim is to represent a new waveform using sine or cosine functions. So, adding up the same frequency function won't work there. Now, try adding sin x, 2 sin 2x, 3 sin 3x, 4 sin 4x. We get a completely different waveform. This new function is a periodic function. This is a case when we take the cosine function. That means, in order to get a new periodic function using sine or cosine function, we want their frequencies to be different. This can be attained using mutually orthogonal function. The condition for two function f of x and g of x to be mutually orthogonal in closed interval a b is integral from a to b f of x g of x dx is equal to 0. We consider the following set of functions 1 cos pi x by l cos 2 pi x by l etc sin pi x by l sin 2 pi x by l etc which are linearly independent and mutually orthogonal in closed interval alpha alpha plus 2l. We use these sine and cosine functions for the Fourier series representation.